Want to know why? Ask how. Howard? The humongous. Two black lives that matter could have been saved this week by, guess what? Technology. By robots and drones. Here's how it works. In Charlotte, North Carolina, Keith Scott, a security guard who'd been married for 20 years, he was a father of seven, known for mentoring his neighbors, but who also had a brief history of gun violence, was shot dead because he was suspected of reaching into his car through a window, reaching into his car for a gun through a window that apparently was closed, and apparently there was no gun in the car. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, Terrence Crutcher, a father of four, a guy who'd returned to college to study music appreciation at the age of 40, was shot by a police officer, Betty Jo Shelby. Um, again, because she was afraid for her life. The man was already downed by a taser when Betty Jo Shelby shot him. These are two lives we didn't need to lose. Imagine this. Well, first of all, Another major incident happened this week um, in uh, New Jersey, in Linden, New Jersey. There was a man who had planted bombs on 23rd Street in New York, on 26, approximately 26th Street in New York, and at several sites in New Jersey. His bombs were diffused by a robot. One of those bombs went off. Two of these bombs were pressure cooker bombs, like the ones that the Boston Marathon bombers had used. But because no human had to defuse them, most of them were sent down to Quantico, Virginia for analysis, and no lives were lost because the bomb that went off went off in the hands, if you want to put it that way, of a robot, apparently a Northrop Grumman Andros Mark V A1. In Los Angeles, in Antelope Valley, California, in a field of scrub, there was a uh, face-off, a shootout, between an armed man and police. He was hiding in the scrub of a, a desert landscape. Only helicopters overhead were able to spot him. He was deprived of his weapon. His handgun was taken away from him, not by a policeman risking his life, but by a robot. The man had dropped his gun, his name was Ray B. Bunge, and the robot picked it up and took it away from him. These two robotic incidents are signs of what can happen in the future. There's another incident, and that is in Dallas, Texas, when five policemen were shot and the shooter was moving from column to column in parking garages and eluding the police. It was a robot that took him out, a robot equipped with an explosive that presumably exploded both the robot but ex exploded the shooter without further danger to human lives. Here is a potential solution for the problem. Equip every police car with two robots. Right now, Boston Dynamics is working on perfecting the most agile robots you've ever seen in your life, and they can be made the size of dogs and cats. They can be strapped to the sides of cars the way that guys used to hang on to the running boards of cars in the 1930s. Equip it not just, equip police car not just with two of these ultra-agile robots, equip it with four drones. Drones these days cost $50 a piece, complete with video cameras, complete with autonomous stabilization technologies. When you spot, if you are a policeman, when you spot a situation that you think may be dangerous, that may lose you your life, don't get out of the car. Unleash the two robots, unleash the four drones. With the four drones and two robots broadcasting to a video screen on the dashboard of your car, you've got situational awareness. You can see whether or not somebody is carrying a gun or whether they simply have either a book or a glove, which it looked like one of these suspects had in his hand. You can see whether it's a gun or not. And the robots can disarm the man, not you. Betty Jo White in Tulsa was afraid for her life. That's why she made an instant decision, a decision that basically said something like this. If I don't shoot in the next quarter of a second, I could be dead. Robots don't worry about things like that. We are taught to fear technology. We are thought, taught to fear robots that may have the ability to kill, but in fact, used correctly, just like hammers. A hammer can be used to kill. A hammer can be used to build a house. Robots and drones can be a policeman and the public safety's best 
allies. Black lives do matter. Robots and drones can save them. This is Howard the Humongous speaking to you from the future. It's your job and my job to make. Or, want to know why? <laughs> Ask how. And now for that infamous sleazy, slimy, little off-button.